Amy. I am very excited to introduce Jesse Sutton. He's going to be doing a speech with visual aids, a stinky situation. So let me introduce him. Thank you. Thank you, Amy, and fellow Toastmasters. A stinky situation. <laughs> Our septic system is toast. I don't know how many of you live out in the country, but I kind of live close to the city, but we have a septic system. And it's toast, or was toast, actually. Back in 2010, we decided to try to sell our house. Because I live up in Lansing, but work down here, kind of a commute, put the house on the market. It took a while for us to get our first offer. And around that time, our realtor reminded us, you have to get your well and septic evaluated before you can sell your house. Okay, not a big deal. So we started into that process. It's actually called a time of sale transfer. That's what TOAST stands for. It's part of the Barry Eaton District Health Code. It was adopted back in May of 2007, went into effect in October 2007. Basically, it's put in place to protect the environment, water quality, and Barry and Eaton counties by setting up an evaluation and maintenance program. So when you go to sell your house, time of sale transfer, you have to have an evaluation done. So what is the evaluation? They check the water supply, which is the water coming out of your well. We pass. They check your septic tank. You can see in this picture, ours was underwater at the time. If you remember, April of 2011 was one of the wettest months in a long time. And our house is very old, well, not very old, the 1960s, the system is original. It wasn't meant for a three-bedroom house, it was built for a two-bedroom house. So the system was under a lot of stress. Also, they checked the drainage field. You can see in this picture, they bore holes into the ground to check the stone. There was so much pressure in the system that water came up and filled the hole. And as you can see, these stones down here, they were black and tarry not a good sign for us. So the evaluator takes that report, sends it off to the, the county health department, health district. They decided to send someone else out just to verify the results. They sent us this nice little letter, notice of failure. Our <laughs> system was in a state of failure. It wasn't really a big surprise to us. It was working. It still flush our toilets. But it was under a lot of stress. The rain didn't help, but it was an old system. Long story short, we couldn't sell our house until we fixed the system or put one and a half times the cost to fix the system in an escrow account. So, what's the next step? You go and you get a permit. $206, health department sends you a permit, you're ready to go to get bids to get your system replaced. You can see in the red here that says low pressure dose. If you own a septic system, those are three of the worst words you can see on a permit. What does that mean? It means money, lots and lots of money. The system requires two tanks. So you can see here in this diagram, one of them contains a pump. The pump alone can cost $1,000 or more. You also have to have a mound built so that the tank can pump the water up to the mound. It's about a foot of sand, a foot of gravel, a couple feet of dirt, mound it over. So you have a huge mound in your yard. We don't have a lot of room, so that was gonna fill our backyard. 100 feet long, 37 feet wide, three to five feet high. Not a pretty sight when you're trying to sell your house. A big hill in your backyard. So, Need a little audience participation here. <coughs> what do you guys think a system like that would cost? Twenty-five hundred dollars. Twenty-five hundred. Ten thousand. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. One million. <laughs> <laughs> One dollar. One. <laughs> <laughs> Is it closest? 
close without being o closest without being over is just like the price is right. <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> so, let's see how close you are. What's the price right? Let's keep eighteen thousand dollars. The low bid was ten thousand. Most of these bids do not include include any of the wiring for the pump. It requires a special breaker, wiring to get it all out there. So. $10,000 plus for this lovely mound in your backyard while you're trying to sell your house. Not a pretty situation. Thankfully, the sanitary code allows for a hardship. So we wrote a letter to the health department. We can't do this. It doesn't fit in our budget. So they come back out, check the soil, measure our yard, look at the plumbing. What's the result? They said, raise the plumbing. Another issue we had, we had a large maple, took up a good chunk of the backyard. You can't obviously put a septic system where a tree is. <laughs> so they said, take out the tree, raise your plumbing, you can have an underground system. To us, it was kind of a bittersweet sigh of relief. Okay, we don't have to have this huge mound that costs 10 to 18 plus thousand dollars. We can have an underground system. Send us a revised permit, send it back out for bids, $6,000. That looks a lot better to us. As it turns out, this is one of the better companies in the area that is installing systems. It's a father-son team, decades of experience. They actually had their grandson on site too. So we felt that we were in capable hands. Everybody we talked to said, these guys are great. They'll do a great job for you. So. About two weeks ago, they started on a Monday. These guys, models of efficiency, got it done in three days. Total cost, $7,765. That includes the evaluation of the permit. We mailed out our bid or our permit to everybody who installed systems. We didn't know who we to go to. Almost a grand for the tree to come out. Some supplies to raise the plumbing and $6,000. We came in well under the ten to eighteen thousand dollars system. Here's some pictures of the dark. These guys truly were a model of efficiency. They showed up, dug the hole for the tank. No sooner were they done, the tank delivery truck showed up. They lowered it into the hole here. Fit like a glove. The guy could barely even get the cables off the tank as he got it out. They had dug such a a perfectly fit hole. Later that afternoon they delivered they delivered stone and sand. Oh, up there, King of the Hill. <laughs> what kid doesn't love a giant pile of sand? Unfortunately we don't get to keep it. Next day they show up, three generations. The dad was there, his son was there, grandson there. Tore up our backyard. You can see the mounds of dirt there. There wasn't a space of ground that was not untouched by these guys. But this is the end of day two. Day three, health department came out, gave them clean bill of health. They didn't have to fix anything. Came in with the bulldozer, smoothed everything out. Looks perfect now. And we have our completed system. So if you live in Barry, Eaton County, that Go to try to sell your house is the process you might end up in. Thankfully, it all worked out well for us, and now we are clear for at least the next three years to sell our house. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Timer.